I love that one, especially uh, how would you describe us to a friend because this is moving more towards the third party edification and it's trying yeah. to, uh, it's even, you're thinking about all the good things so you're kind of like selling the business to yourself over again. Yeah, yeah, you know, it, it really is, in their words, they're telling you what they think and feel about your, your business. So if you're just providing drop down menus and, and if you go out and use a lot of the survey tools that you know local business owners and solopreneurs use, you're, you're very tempted to, use to put in things like, um, how did you find us? And you give them a choice of word or mouth, right? Um, or Yahoo, or Google, or I saw you in a magazine, or heard about you at a trade show, and, and all you get is you know, these selections that you can run some statistical analysis on uh, down the road, but it's not the same thing as hearing that yeah, I heard about you from EFOT and a hangout, or I read about you in you know Jenny's blog, or I you know heard yeah, about you on Sean's podcast. You know that's that's more information that you're going to have that you can take action on, right? Yeah. So actually, that's a great point because a lot of us are just putting you know uh, websites, you know search engine and stuff. So what is the difference? Like, why is it so important to say? No, I heard about you from Ifat Show. Well, well, you know, I, I'll give you an example. Um, the difference, you know, there's a, a realtor I know in, in Dallas, uh, Mike and Jay, that they uh, found out that a painter in the local community was providing about 35 percent of their referrals. You know, this guy's out painting houses and whatnot. When people would ask him, "Do you know any good realtors?" He was going, "Yeah, Mike and Jay." So. Um, they discovered that you know through somebody telling them and they were able to go out and then take action on that feedback um, that allowed them to actually they, they went out they found out he's a sports fan so they met him they took him to a Dallas uh, Cowboys game I guess or gave him some tickets to some Texas Rangers games uh, but anyway they courted him and, and actually started you know actually referring even more people in their business I think he became almost 40 percent of their referrals, but my point is, had they had a survey and it, and it only said you know word of mouth, they wouldn't have known. But if you have a survey that says, "How did you find out about us?" and someone types in, "Joe the painter told me," now you got a, a a lead or a clue that you can go out and look at and take action on and find out. Well, who's Joe the painter, right? So you see the difference between just saying, "Here's a drop down that says word of mouth" or Yahoo or Bing versus saying. I heard about you from EFOT on a hangout, or I heard about you, you know, from Joe the Painter, right? It's, yeah, it's I love that. 